Hey guys, it's Dr. Tom Chaney here from Living Health Integrative Medicine in Annapolis. In today's video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you improve your blood sugar. So we see a lot of diabetics in our office and it's something that I help patients with is improving blood sugar, reversing their type 2 diabetes, and getting them in control of their health. So I want to go through and give you five tips today that you can start using immediately to help you better stabilize your blood sugar. So number one, you need to start your day with a high quality protein and some good fats. So most of us in America, we're used to starting our day with carbs. So cereal, carbs. You know, we look at most of the, um, most of, you know, pancakes, waffles, carbs, right? More carbs. So we want to start with a high quality protein and good fats. A really easy way to do this is to, to create a, a good uh, protein shake and put your fats into the, into the shake. So that's something I do on a regular basis. And when I talk about that, you, when you think about fats, so what, what, is, what am I talking about? So you can do um, MCT oil. Um, you can, you can add that to the shake. You can add um, olive oil. That's another way to get fat into it. Um, there's other creative ways, and I talk about some of those in my book, Defeat Diabetes. Um, also, think outside the box. Don't think about breakfast as far as just having breakfast food. Maybe you have a little bit of leftover dinner for breakfast, so that could work for this as well. Number two, we want to avoid caffeine. So this kind of fits right into what we're talking about with breakfast. A lot of us, we start our day with a cup of coffee, which is caffeine. So um, it's going to do, caffeine is going to do a couple of things. Um, one thing it does, it puts some stress on the gut and the intestinal lining. And most of us, um, we do not have good gut health. So we want to do everything we can to take pressure and stress off of that area. So that's one way we can do it is to avoid caffeine. Also, the caffeine is going to impact your adrenal glands. Uh, adrenal glands do also help to regulate blood sugars. So um, anything we can do to take stress off the adrenals, um, most of us are living in an overly stressed environment. Uh, there's enough stress on our adrenal glands, so we want to take some pressure and some stress off of them. And one way can, we can do that is by avoiding caffeine. Number three, so we want to avoid fruit juices. A lot of times we think that, you know, fruit and vegetables, they're healthy, right? So fruit juice must be healthy as well. Well, if you look at a lot of the fruit juices on the shelf and you look at the sugar content, you're going to see the sugar content. It usually, um, in some of the cases, it actually uh, meets or exceeds what you would see in a soda as far as the, the amount of sugar. So there's a lot of sugar in these, in these fruit juices. So we want to avoid fruit juices. Even some of the vegetable juices, like carrot juice, carrots have a lot of sugar, especially when you juice them. So you want to avoid those. Number four, so um, no starchy or high carb foods before bed. So a lot of times you get in a routine, you know, you have dinner and then you have like snack afterwards. And a lot of times that snack is going to be something that is a high carb, starchy snack. So we want to avoid that before bed. If you're going to have something to eat, you feel like, hey, I need something to eat, let's go to something that has a higher protein content. There are snacks out there that have high protein, so maybe you can get that, you know, that, um, that craving, you know, you get that um, sensation or whatever craving you're having, you get that satisfied by having something higher in protein instead of having high starch, high carb before bed. So let's avoid starchy, high carb foods before bed. And then Number five is um, just totally cut out the top five, I'm sorry, the top three foods that I see that, um, that diabetics are allergic to. So one of the things I do with my patients in the office is I do food sensitivity testing. And, and I've looked at thousands of cases and patients' results, and these are the top three food allergens that I see with my diabetics. Number one, gluten. So gluten is in wheat, it's in rye, it's in barley. So we need to cut out everything that contains gluten. <clears throat> and then the next food would be eggs. I see um, many diabetics are very sensitive to eggs. And then the third is actually a food group, and that's dairy. So those are the top three allergens that I see. And what I'm saying is that 
Um, when I test patients, they, they have a high reactivity to these, which means it's going to create inflammation in the body. Anything that creates inflammation is going to drive your sugars up. So we want to minimize anything that's going to create inflammation. So no gluten, no dairy, and no eggs. Hope you got some great information from this video. If you want more strategies and tips, pick up my book, Defeat Diabetes. So you can get this on our website at livinghealthmarket.com. We go through some of the strategies that we share with many of our diabetics. If you're looking for a customized program, then give our office a call, 410-216-9180. We can talk about how we can customize a plan for you and help you reverse this disease. Um, and coming to our seminar is a great first step to learn more about our approach to reversing type 2 diabetes. So I hope you got some great information from this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.